Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to Kiki with Shishi. It's Mindful Monday, and yes, this Mindful Monday is on a Wednesday. I tried really hard, but we went on vacation to a family reunion, and when I came back, I had allergies and sinuses that were draining, and I had no voice. So today is really the first day that I am amongst the land of the living, so I didn't want to miss this week because of this week's Mindful Monday is awesome but anyways for those of you that are returning thanks for coming back and hanging out with the Kiki squad for those of you that are new uh, hit that subscription button to the bottom I guess it'll be on this side to the bottom and you can hang out on the couch with us those of you that are new or this is your first time uh, seeing mindful Mondays mindful Mondays is just where I talk to you for five or six minutes about a subject and you talk back in the comments so today's topic is really in honor of 4th of July. It is about family. Um, 4th of July as a kid was my absolute favorite, favorite holiday. I almost liked it just as much as Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, the reason why 4th of July was my favorite holiday is A, it was warm. B, uh, several things were going to take place that day. Undeniably, one, we were gonna have food. Either my grandmother was opening up the uh, half barrel grill, and for those of you that know about that half barrel grill, where they cut that barrel in half and turn it into a grill, that's serious business. So either my grandmother was cooking on the half barrel grill, we were gonna have some deviled eggs, potato salad, dirty rice, ribs, macaroni and cheese, food was about to be bananas. The other things that would happen undeniably is that I was going to see my family, mainly my cousins. My cousins and I were about to get into shenanigans. That was always the day for it. That was the day where you got your new outfit, you got your new shoes, your cousins, you was gonna see your cousins. Um, the older kids, we'd play and whatever, and you know, that's when you got to meet new boyfriends and girlfriends and hang out, uh, front yard, backyard, downstairs, whatever, while the older folks played cards upstairs in the garage, wherever. Um, we normally did some games, relay races, whatever, tag, eating, talking, whatever. So the shenanigans were gonna be high that day. The other thing is that we would always go uh, at the end of the night. I lived in Colorado Springs as a kid, so all the older cousins, probably about six or seven of us, would travel down to the lake where they were having the fireworks display, and we would go and watch the fireworks display. Undeniably, one of the most beautiful things you can see, especially it's going off over the lake, so you get the reflection of the fireworks on the water, you know, all your cousins, and friends were out there, you'd bump into people that you hadn't seen in a while, or you would all meet out there, other families, uh, friends, people that were close to you, you were all hanging that day. So 4th of July was awesome for me, especially with me having such a big family. That was the time that I knew that I'd get to see them all. So one of my favorite 4th of Julys is probably when I was about uh, 19 or 20 years old, probably maybe 20 years old. Um, my brother and my mom and I, I think, went out and bought these <laughs> overall short jumpsuit sets. Uh, it was back in the 90s. It was back around the time of TLC, the music group, SWV. Um, so they were wearing those baggy overall sets. We had our short sets, and then my cousin came, so my mom gave hers to my cousin. Um, so the three of us, my brother, my cousin, and myself, we were the three amigos anyway. We We were... It's myself, two years later is my cousin, and then two years after that is my brother. So we always ran together. We ran together, we went to the park together, we went to the mall together, we went to events together. Um, that also included fighting together. You know, you fought one of us, you fought all three of us. So uh, we got to hang out that day all in our matching jumpsuits. We played this game that was close relay where you had to run back and forth. Um, you know, you had your team, half of your team was on one side, 
The other half is on the other side. You had to run to one side, put on all these clothes, big clothes, run back to the other side. Your teammate had to help you take them off and put them on the next person. So that was the day that the clothes relay was born. Um, we also had the egg walk and all this other crazy stuff. Um, my mom's boyfriend at the time grilled a rabbit. That was the first and last time that I had rabbit. It, it didn't really taste bad. It's kind of like it tasted like chicken. However, just the fact that I have it in my mind that that was a uh, thumper uh, felt a little weird. So I haven't had rabbit since. I, I don't think that that'll be on the menu anytime soon. Um, but I remember those things and just loading up the car, going to the lake. And then after we came back from the lake that day, we all just kind of crowded the middle of the street with the neighbors around us and fireworks, fireworks, fireworks. It was, you know, we'd take turns, which family, and I, I, we probably had over a good $400, $500 of fireworks with everybody putting in. And uh, that is how 4th of July became one of my absolute favorite holidays. Um, I've missed it being away from my family for 20 years. It's different, but now we are starting to make our own traditions. We are starting to make our own um, things that we do on 4th of July, which is difficult because it's just the four of us in, in our city. However, we make it work. And nonetheless, I still have the memories of being with my family for 4th of July. Um, so, 4th of July is tomorrow, since this is a Mindful Monday on Wednesday. See, I make it work out for you. Um, anyways, be safe, have fun, eat a lot of food. Tomorrow is the day that's off limits for diets and all that other jazz. Eat. The food is always better on the 4th. I don't know what it is. But eat, have fun, hang out with your family. Remember, be safe, be sane, and have tons of fun. All right. So I'm going to go get my nails done so I can be ready for the 4th of July tomorrow. And I will see you next week for Mindful Mondays. Thanks for joining us. I'll talk to you later. Bye.